going to show you how to put in your kitchen cabinets and also to double check on the heights of your kitchen cabinets and show you how to use the um, dynamic components if you haven't played with that too much yet. All right, so let me share the screen and jump you over to, here's my SketchUp. Okay, so um, I first downloaded all these cabinets that were European style from Mebel Rust and I sent everybody an email. Um, they looked great, I was happy with them. Then when I went to measure my height for um, 34 and a half inches, which is where our cabinet should be, and then 36 inches here, I saw that all these European cabinets were two to three inches shorter. Um, that's normal. They were in metrics. That's where they're coming from. The interesting thing is if you go back into the warehouse, let me show you. Um, you can sort of see it now. Um, WIT, this company called WIT, W-I-T-T, they're identical models to the Mebel Rest one. So I'm, Rest, so I'm assuming it's the same parent company. However, these models all are coming in at the height for US standards, so 34 and a half. So I, it, the funny thing is it's the exact same cabinets, they just, they're at the correct height. Um, you can try to scale the European ones, pull them up, but then in my case, the, the, um, the box of the cabinet did get taller, but the doors didn't, so it was a hot mess. So instead I just went to WIT and it turns out they're fine. Um, to edit these guys, there's a couple of nice options if you're using the European one. So if I, so what I did is I clicked on it, I right click, I hit dynamic components and then component options. And this is all the programming built in by the company who made these models. So not only is there this style castle, which I like, there's all these other ones too. There's this premium database where I guess if you, if you pay the money, you'll get more. Um, that might be also for, uh, for folks in the kitchen design industry. So let's see what the cologne looks like. Um, yeah, so it changes the handles if you saw that on there. So that works fine. Castle works fine. I like that. Um, the other things I can play with are, um, so here's where the, see where it's saying it's U US. So it's getting me to the correct, correct depth that I want. And the height too is that's in millimeters, but that actually is correct 34 and a half. The, um, when I download this one with drawers, uh, there's options for all these different widths. So you just find the one that has the door or draw st drawer style you like, and then you can just edit it this way. And it's getting you, um, it's giving you an in inches. Um, this is how they're sold. So like I said, the times that I've ordered cabinets from Canada, this is the math they come in, obviously in the hundreds and millimeters. And then, you know, I figure out the math on my end. But in this way, case they've done it pretty nicely for me already. Okay, so now that I've got my cabinets set, and here's the 34 and a half, this is the 36 for the counter. Um, you might be tempted to draw your counter right here. That tends to be a messy process and can cause a lot of headaches. So in my case, I'm gonna estimate the math here. Um, so it's about almost 13 feet this way. And then my countertop is gonna come this way. And that's about, mm, we'll say four and a half feet. This little rectangle I'm going to do later on its own. So you want to draw this over by itself. And actually, I started one over here earlier. So I'm going to delete that out and sort of start from scratch. Um, so what did I say? I said about 13 feet. So I'm going to draw 13 feet this way. And then what did I say? About four that way, because I can always go back and edit it. And now it's 24 inches or two feet in this direction. And it's also 24 inches, two feet in that direction. I'm gonna draw my basically vertical line. I'm gonna draw my horizontal line. All right, so this is the base of what I want for my cabinet. So we're gonna get rid of those two lines there. I mean my countertop, I'm sorry. I'm gonna then hit reverse faces because I wanna make sure this guy is white. Um, it's This is just flat right now. So my countertop thickness is going to be, um, it's generally one inch or three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna do one, just easier to get it in there. And then I'm going to make this a component. So I'm going to click the whole thing, right click and say make component. And I'm going to call it counter one because I'll end up having probably three countertops in here. Um, yep, I already made one earlier. All right, so here's my countertop now. I'm going to bring it over. I haven't put the material in yet. I haven't painted that in, that's fine. Um, I'm going to stick it kind of down right here. But now see how it's kind of embedded in the, in the cabinets. So I'm going to bring it up that one inch. So there's that one inch now. And now that's looking pretty good. So um, it's looking okay on the left. I have a little bit of an overhang, which I want. Over here on the right, I need to widen it a bit. So I'm gonna right click 
and say um, edit component and I'm going to use the pull tool and just pull it up over here. This guy here is going to be pretty easy to do. So I'll, I'll demo that one pretty quick. So I'm going to click out of that. There's my countertop. So now when I go to paint this, it'll paint the whole thing once I figure out my materials that I want for it. Um, this guy here is about, let's see, from here to here, uh, three foot four. Okay, so we're just going to draw this over here. Um, so it's three foot four inches. Oh, it's way out here. Two feet this way. Whoops, hold on, I'm going the wrong way. Control Z. There it is, two feet that way, two feet this way. And then there's my rectangle. And we're gonna reverse faces again, make sure that's correct. Uh, click. And then we're gonna bring it up one inch, one inch. And then we're gonna make this another component. So right click. Make component, counter two, great. And pull that back into my model also. So there's a handle there. Drag it way back over here into the kitchen. Um, put it on top of the cabinet. Raise it up an inch. And that's looking okay. Let's see if it's, if it's hitting my fridge a little too tight. I'm going to play with this fridge actually and move it over and give it a, a uh, casework around it. So I'll play with that in a minute. That doesn't look too bad because that they would cut it that tight to make sure your your uh, stove's coming in all right. Um, so far that looks pretty good for my counter. So I'm going to do the same thing for my island. I'll build it up with cabinets underneath and then I'm going to draw my um, countertop basically over here out in space, make it a component and then drag it in that way. Um, I'll just paint it in quick so you can see how we can paint it. So let's just pick out a random material here. Um, we'll just get some stone just so you can see the difference. Oh, there you go. There's a marble. So if I click it, see how once I painted it, I'll do that again. It painted, whoops, hold on, we got to pick it there. It painted the whole component for me. Whoop, wait, there it is. Now we got it. And see there, it's got the whole thing painted. I mean, right now, that's kind of ugly. I think I'll update that, but I'll leave it there for now just so you can see the difference. Um, I don't think the cabinets come with options to change their colors. I think they're pretty much already in white. So there's those two options there. Um, so be careful with some of these European ones, how much we're allowed to paint in there. You can go in there and probably change the materials if we wanted to edit it. Uh, that'll be up to you how much you want to play with it. I'm probably going to try to have my island cabinets be a different color so I might take the time to paint those doors but um, for now I'm happy with the white right here. All right so hopefully I caught most of you in time before anybody used that Mebel rust one because like I said it was kind of in order in our email but the one that's wit cabinetry I'll bring that up again so you can see it that one w-i-t-t -T, they're coming in at the correct u.s height so bear that in mind and like I said I'll just keep making videos as I'm going along here too. All right thanks everyone.